Greetings everybody, this is Paul, the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. If you guys could punch that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, it'd be honored for you guys to uh, join me on my fish keeping adventures. Today we're gonna do a small little do-it-yourself project, water polisher. Let's go in and get some water in the convenience store. Now what you need in order to build this, you need a razor blade, empty water bottle, you need a power head. So I had this laying around, but you can get cheap ones. It doesn't need to be anything special. And some polyfill. Now here's what we're gonna do. This is how you build this. Simple, easy and it works great for polishing water and getting all of the cloudiness out. And you need your power head. Now, you need your plastic water bottle. When you get the water bottle, get one that's, that's firm. You want something that has some strength to it because the, the cheap ones will just give you problems. So we need to find out where we want to cut this here and I'm thinking Right about in here is going to be good enough for what I'm wanting to do here. So I'll go ahead and score this. And uh, run it through. Like so. It ain't going to be perfect. You can always touch that up if you want. And actually, we'll just go ahead and we'll trim this a bit here. So we got this part done. Now we need to fill it up with the polyfill. Open up the bag of polyfill. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to stuff this inside of the water bottle. Just like so. Um, put a decent amount in there. Obviously you want to catch all the small particulates in the tank. And you can always add more after, but I'm gonna say that this is gonna serve our purpose for now. Okay, take the lid off. This goes onto here like this. <laughs> Had to go and uh, really put some force behind it to get that on, but as you can see, that is on now, so we'll go ahead and attach this back onto the pump. Now this is your water polisher. So we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, a tank or tub now and we're going to show you how this works. Okay, I found an old 10 gallon tank that I had laying around. So what we're going to do is fill this up with water and then we're going to go ahead and make it dirty. Okay, we got our sand for the example here. Now, uh, this is not washed, so obviously it's gonna make it nastier than normal, but that's okay. This is for the example. Okay, we're ready to go. So again, you want the, the plastic uh, water bottle to be on here tight and you want to fill this up and you'll see exactly what's going to happen. Uh, pretty nasty, huh? You can see just how foggy that this is. Um, so when you have a cloudy tank, build yourself one of these. In three, two, one, go. Gonna go ahead and pull out the iPad, stopwatch, and go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this right now because this pump isn't as strong as I want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one that I had laying around, which is much, much stronger, has a better, grip right here so let's go for that like 
like this. Got to get it filled up with water. As you can see, that is much better flow. So you can see just how clear the water got. Is it perfect? No, but it's definitely a lot clearer than it was before. And uh, you know, handful of hours went by. So you can actually see my hand through it. So yeah, at the end of the day, all you need to do is just, you know, let it run for a little bit of time and it will polish that water up nice and clean for you. And it's a small setup. It takes a little bit of time, which is totally okay, but it is much clearer than it was earlier. So if you have a super powerful jet uh, and a big bottle with lots of floss in there, it's gonna do a really awesome job. So in those comments down below, have you guys ever built this? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's efficient? It's very cheap. If you have one of those power jets on hand, it is extremely cheap to build it. And um, yeah, will you guys, have you guys? Comment down below. If you guys could like the video as well and share it, that would be amazing. And push the subscribe button and click on that notification bell. I'd be honored for you guys to join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tanked.